everyone. Um, my name is Suna, and since this is my first video, I should probably introduce myself. I'm an artist, I make jewelry, and I'm also a college student, so this vlog is going to be about me preparing for the first day of the semester. And in future vlogs, hopefully you'll be able to see me making jewelry. Here's some pieces I made recently. This is my moon necklace. And I also make clay charms. So you should totally follow me on TikTok and Instagram to see process pieces of these. This is something I made recently. I used to wear on the everyday. But yeah. In this vlog, I'm not going to be making any jewelry. I will be showing up my bead collection. Um, I'm going to be organizing my beads as well as a Minnesolan BT21 haul. And yeah, I'm just going to be showing my first day of school and doing some journaling. So I hope you all look forward to it. Okay, let's move on to the vlog. <music> So after coming back home, I finally opened the stuff I got from Miniso and the BT21 store. As you can see, I bought a bunch of stuff from the Snoopy collection. I got these wool hooks, this lunchbox, which I honestly don't know if I'm going to use, but I got it because it looked cute. And I also got washi tape and then those transparent bags I'm going to use. You'll see later in the video, I'll use them to organize my school bag. I also got this Hello Kitty desk organizer, which right now I don't know what to put in it, so I just put my lotions and posters. Moving on to the BT21 stuff, I got a blanket, this RJ t-shirt, this toothbrush holder, and a cute mini RJ, and then a scrub, which I also don't think I'm going to use that either. But this is how the blanket looks like. It's a little smaller than I expected, but I think it looks cute. I'm glad that it has all of the members on it. And it, the color kind of matches my blanket, so I like it. This is how the shirt looks like. And then the toothbrush holder, it came in really handy. I really needed something like this to hold my toothbrush, so I'm glad I got this. And it's super cute as well. Last but definitely not least, here's my mini RJ. It's so cute. It's so small. It's the size of my AirPod case. I don't even know what to do with it, so right now it's just hanging out on my desk. But yeah, it's so tiny and it doesn't even have like an ornament hanging attached to it, so I don't know. It's kind of useless, but it's okay because it's cute. So I just got some new bead organizers, so I'm going to be reorganizing my beads since right now a lot of them are in this um pill con monday it's a seven it reminds me of seven it's a pill container but i want to put it in a proper place so here's just me organizing my beads in these little cases So I organized it by putting all of my silver and like white hard wire in this blue container. As you can see here I have all my jump rings, the pins, these little cute heart shaped beads, and my crescent charms. And then I did the same thing with these, with the gold hard wire. And then in this container is all of my neutral color beads, so the white seed beads. I also have my crimp tubes since I use them. I only have gold ones, so which is fine because they get hidden by the actual crimps. So I just put them with the, the neutral 
one since I'm going to be using them often. These are some really pretty like jewel, brown jewel beads which reminded me of Taeyong so in the future when I make a Taeyong team necklace I'm definitely going to use those. And then in this container I put all of my colorful beads which this is all the ones that I have now but as of doing this voiceover I've added more so. And then in this one is all of my bigger ones that don't fit in the smaller containers. I also have this kit from Target, which it's like really cheap, like kit, like a kit for kids. But I thought I could use some of them in my jewelry and then in this box is all of my wire so it also has my elastic and then also my um artistic jewelry wire and this bag is my wooden beads because they're in a really big pack and also my pliers and also my chains, since I don't know where to put my chains yet, I think I need to buy a separate container for those. I also have these bigger crimp tubes that I don't really use. The next thing I did to prepare for the next day of school is decorate my notebook i actually didn't end up using this notebook i got this five subject one and another three subject one that was white and even though even though i decorated this i ended up not using it because i'm only taking four classes and only three of them need like handwritten notes so Unfortunately, I decorated this for no reason, but hopefully I'll be able to use it in the future. I usually get these four subject notebooks from Typo, but this time they didn't have any designs I like. And also they're pretty flimsy and they don't have enough pages in each subject, which is why I opted for the five star mead ones. But these don't have like four subject for some reason. But yeah, as you can see, I decorated these with BT21 stickers. I also got these Space Galaxy um, Deco stickers that also had whales on them. I put whales on the white one. Um, so really coincidental. I think an army designed these stickers. So this is how both the notebooks ended up looking like. As you can see the white one, it's much more full and I added the whale stickers as well as the BT21 one. So it really is just army core, BTS core and I love it. Next I started packing my bag for the next day. I'm using this white fake leather bag with my RJ keychain. I put in my notebook this folder with extra binder paper. This is my planner for the year. It's really skinny and I got it from Daiso. And as you can see, I'm using my Snoopy bag for lotion and hand sanitizer. And I have this BT21 pencil case as well, since I only take handwritten notes. I'm going to use this or this Lala, the Sanrio um, bag to hold my lip products because I love wearing lip products and I always take it with me. And then I'm also going to take a book so that I read instead of being on my phone before class starts. So now it's Monday. I started my day by going to the gym. I'm not trying to promote fitness or anything. I just go so that my body doesn't stop functioning.
I'm not gonna lie, this morning and kind of like in the whole beginning of the week, I felt really bad, like physically I felt sore um, because it was, I did a lot, of, a lot of movement after not doing anything and just laying in bed for the whole winter break. So I felt like bad physically, but I got all dressed up and I wore my moon necklace which definitely made me feel better and made me like excited to go to my classes. As you can see, I'm using the Snoopy bag that I got from Minnesota to hold my lip products for the day. I change these products out every day because I use different ones. Um, and this is what I put in my bag. Also, I know I'm not showing like my face, but I use this cute rj themed eyeshadow palette which is i just got it because rj was on it but it's actually really good it's a really good warm neutral palette so if you find this um i do recommend it right now i'm using my planner to write down all of the stuff that i have to do this semester i have a lot of responsibilities like I have, I'm a part of a lot of clubs and I also work, I'm a research assistant and I also want to make a lot of jewelry this semester so I can't afford to be getting overwhelmed every time I have too many tasks or if I'm stressed so I really want to start using my planner regularly so that that doesn't happen um, and so far it's been going well. I have this um, stand that I can hold my planner open so I can look at it and see what I need to do every day. And hopefully that will help. Now I'm actually getting forward to do some of the tasks that I needed to do. I'm not gonna lie, this first week of school, especially in the beginning of the week, I was really like going through it because as I mentioned earlier, I didn't feel well physically and also I was just really I never like first weeks of school I don't like icebreakers and stuff like that and um, at my school we have the semester system so our professors the first day is usually going over the syllabus which is I feel like sometimes it makes classes harder than seem harder than they are and I don't, it's not that I dislike school, I really like my classes, I really like learning, but sometimes you don't realize that until a few weeks into the semester when you actually start getting to the material. Like for example, I had my multicultural psych class and my professor was really nice and we had like a group discussion and my professor, I was reading the book that I showed earlier, Jazz by Toni Morrison, my professor was asking me about it and he recommended me a bookstore that I can go to a used bookstore so I might go there next week but yeah I really like those things I really like learning and making connections with my professors and my peers but it's just there's something so stressful about the first week of school the first day that makes me not motivated um, like I usually am to have my education but I think that if you're somebody who experiences that as well, it's important to realize that that's normal um, and to recognize if that usually happens every semester and that it'll get better, it will, um, you'll return to a homeostasis and it won't be as stressful anymore. And gladly that did happen because right now as I'm doing this voiceover, I feel a lot better. I dropped out of one of my classes, one of my theology classes, to add another, a different one because the other one was kind of scaring me, I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of like off-campus required events and it was just, it felt like a lot of um, extra work for something that's supposed to be a core class for me, so I changed it and I think it's worth it even though the new class that I'm taking they don't have a rate my professor, but they seem really nice. So yeah, that's how my first week went. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.